I am Gerdes Bortasus, and in this talk I will present our paper called Classifying, Segmenting, and Tracking Object Instances in Video with Mask Propagation. This is a work in collaboration with Lorenzo Torresani. In this work, we tackle the problem of video instance segmentation. Compared to standard instance segmentation images, for video instance segmentation, not only do we need to segment object instances in individual frames, but we also need to track them over an entire video sequence. One of the biggest challenges related to this problem is determining instance correspondences across multiple frames. In this work, we want to address this challenge with an end-to-end -end trainable model. For this purpose, we propose a mask propagation framework called MaskProp. Our method operates on video clips of about 3 seconds in length. These clips are long enough to allow us to jointly solve for instance segmentation and tracking while handling challenging cases of occlusion, yet they're short enough to fit in a GPU. Given an input video clip, our goal is to produce a coherent segmentation instance track for each object instance appearing in the middle frame of the clip. We accomplish this as follows. Given an input video clip and its corresponding frame level features computed at each time step, we consider each object instance in the middle frame. Then, for each object instance in frame T, we propagate its respective features from frame T to every other frame in the clip. The purpose of our temporal feature propagation scheme is to produce instance-specific feature maps that are spatially aligned with the frame-level features that were previously computed for every time step. The feature propagation mechanism is implemented using a deformable convolution, which warps the provided feature tensor according to the sampling offsets predicted by our model. To effectively propagate features to different frames, our model needs to learn to predict sampling offsets that capture motion between object instances in different frames. We note that our model successfully learns to predict such motion offsets without any explicit ground truth alignment between frames. As mentioned before, the temporal feature propagation procedure is performed for every object instance appearing in the middle frame. Afterwards, the temporally propagated feature tensors obtained from frame T are combined with the frame level features previously computed for each time step. Conceptually, aggregating these feature tensors together allows us to reinforce the feature signal associated with each object instance. The resulting feature tensors are then used to predict clip-level instance segmentation masks for every object instance appearing in the middle frame. Our mask propagation framework, including feature propagation implemented by deformable convolutions, as well as the frame-level feature extraction network, is optimized end-to-end -to, -end to minimize a soft intersection over union loss, which is computed for each object instance over the entire video clip. To process an arbitrary length video, we densely sample the clips throughout that video and predict clip-level instance tracks for each clip. Lastly, we need to link the predicted clip-level tracks into video-level instance sequences. This is done by comparing temporally adjacent clips and measuring how well their predicted instance masks overlap with each other. The clips that have high mask overlap are then linked together. Performing such a linking procedure repeatedly from the first to the last clip of a video allows us to construct final video level instance segmentations. We now compare our method to prior video instance segmentation methods. The ICCV 2019 Video Instance Segmentation Challenge winner decomposes video instance segmentation into four different problems, solves each of them independently using ensembles of different models, and then combines these solutions. In contrast, our approach relies on a single model trained end-to-end. -end. Despite being simpler and using several orders of magnitude less pre-training data, our model achieves higher accuracy. Furthermore, compared to mask track or CNN, our mask prop yields a significant 16.3% gain in video MAP performance. Based on our qualitative results, we also observed that our method is robust to occlusions, it reliably handles changes in object appearance and pose, and it successfully tracks small objects even if their motion is large. Please check out our project page for more details. Thank you.